in this video frequently asked questions so I'm gonna do my best to answer the questions as fast as possible and as detailed as possible for this video because I got a couple to get through but I'm gonna do my best for you guys new video in the house so do me a solid my brothers like subscribe and comment turn on the notification bell it helps me out a ton to grow this channel and I really really appreciate it so enjoy guys and us. all right let's start with the first question this one is from our buddy Roman Roman hey Roman not the first time we talk what does your strength and conditioning routine looks like and can you provide a sample week of it including with your martial arts training thanks great great question so at this point with everything that I know and everything that I've um, evolved into so to speak you honestly don't really need to train that much in terms of conditioning and um, what do you call it uh, resistance training I do it once a week yeah you heard me once a week so I lift weights or resistance training once a week usually on a Monday full body do the whole body work it out really hard and that's it and then I'll wait till the next week now conditioning <clears throat> I do that once a week as well and usually what that looks like is usually do it on Thursdays and it's basically sprinting so I'll sprint for about you know half an hour to an hour you know with intervals of course and then from there well there's a warm-up period and there's a cool down period so that's what I do for my conditioning now in terms of martial arts the way it looks like is Monday to Friday evenings so we'll start with Monday Wednesday Friday that's judo then Tuesday and Thursday that's wrestling now in the morning in the daytime from Monday to Friday Tuesday and Friday morning is boxing technical now for the weekend the weekend on Saturdays I got MMA from 10 to 12 and then sometimes if I'm not dead tired I'll do um, boxing sparring from 1 to about you know 2 o'clock 2 3 o'clock but I mean I might do one sparring or two sparrings and, and a sparring in itself it's three rounds of two minutes with your opponent so when I say like one sparring I mean three rounds of two minutes and Sundays I usually take off but sometimes I do go in and do something as well depending on how I feel how the week went how I recovered but if I do go in I do wrestling from 10 30 till 12 30 and then there's kickboxing afterwards Muay Thai and I might stay and you know mess around there if I have the energy if not you know uh, well I'll just take my shower and go home the next question this is from 7th JPF can you tell us some of your favorite lower body leg exercises and stretches that you recommend for judo also love your channel thanks for all the tips for us OGs my pleasure that's what I'm here for so hmm this is gonna be pretty simple <clears throat> for the legs what I like to do favorite exercise is squat but I do not recommend back squats because it puts pressure down on the spine and if done incorrectly over time bad form blah 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 too heavy without proper warm-up all sorts of things are gonna go wrong and you're gonna hurt your back and then you're kind of screwed so what I do instead is I use the belt squat machine so all the weight is on your hips and so it's a lot lot safer and on top of that you can uh, spot your own self and you don't need as much weight you really don't as long as you go nice and slow and controlled so that's one of my favorite exercises and the two feet positions so I do my feet straight like that and duck feet like that so it's gonna hit different uh, you know um, when you duck feet what what it's gonna do it's gonna hit the inside of your legs and then you know like the the, the glutes you know on the exterior side uh, abductors and adductors for those who know what I'm talking about where and when you do regular ones well you know it does what it does and what I like to do with those two things as well is I like to do uh, Bulgarian split squat 
or just simply a split squat. Now, I don't do these with weight, guys. I don't even hold dumbbells. I just pretty much use my own body weight for this and I just pre-exhaust or pretty much finish off my legs uh, after I've done you know, my, um, my belt squat. Now, if I don't have belt squat, I mean, you, you don't need it either. You could just do regular body weight squats and control the form. If you guys control the form really, really well, you're gonna see, and you don't lock out your knees, you're good. Like you could burn out your legs, no problem with just body weight, with just those two things. So squat and Bulgarian split squat, that's it. No weights needed. Now, if you're gonna use weights, use it on the uh, belt squat machine, okay? Because it's a lot safer. That's what I recommend. Now, when it comes to stretches for judo, listen, the secret is there is no stretch specifically that you need for judo. You want to be flexible across the board. So you want to be flexible upper body, lower body, you know, like the shoulders, thoracic extension, you know, um, your hams, your, your quads, your calves, you know, basically everything, everything, everything. Don't neglect anything because if you do, something's gonna snap. Like the body is unit. It has to function that way. So you're only strong as your weakest link. So if you have an area that's super tight relative to another area, and you got a bunch of these all over the place and stuff, like it's an accident waiting to happen. So what I suggest for all judo guys is that you have to have a flexibility and mobility routine in place that you do on a regular basis, really to keep your body nice and limber and mobile. All right, next up. This is from Tio Barbalho. How many days a week do you recommend training starting out? Um, I would like to dedicate myself to judo completely in the next year and wanted to begin learning the movement patterns early. I've done BJJ, capoeira, boxing, Muay Thai before. Thanks. Hey, that's a lot of martial arts there. That's good. It's always good if you have like um, a big background of a whole bunch of other uh, combat sports. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you a lot. Now, what I recommend for somebody who wants to get into judo, you want two hard sessions a week, that's it. That's as much as you want to do for longevity purposes. Now, if you train harder than that, you're going you're gonna to see pretty quick that your body's going to, won't be able to keep up because judo is a pretty rough sport because of all the falling. And it's a power sport as well. So there's a lot of power involved. Um, it can be very hard on the knees and the shoulders, like in, in terms of injuries and all. And getting thrown all the time like that and break falling and throwing, you know, and getting thrown and all that. I mean, it's, it takes on a toll on the body. It's pretty rough. So you need time to recover. If you're starting out two times a week, if you're like elite level, three times a week, like hard sessions. Now, technically, if you train properly and you do, um, you switch up your trainings, you could technically train judo, you know, a good six days a week even, all right? And why do I say six and not seven? Well, you, you, you're going to want to keep one day uh, off. Like everybody needs at least one day off. Even elite athletes take one day off. Now, if you don't take it off, off, you, you can do like an active recovery day. So you're just going for a bike, a jog, you know, stretching out, you know, doing some very light uh, type of activity just to recover and just to get your mind off of it, really. Um, but uh, you technically can do judo six days a week if it's properly set up so that you don't uh, get busted up. So if you're starting off two hard sessions a week, if you're really advanced and, and you have the time to sleep, to eat, and to you know recover, and your stress levels are way, way low because maybe you don't work or maybe you're a professional athlete, so to speak, or, you know, something like that. So in that case, then yeah, maybe three like hard trainings a week and then the, the rest of them, the other three trainings, like technical, light, maybe do katas and stuff like that. Like that also keeps you in judo, but doesn't beat up the body too much. So that's my recommendation. Okay, next question. This one is from the Braddox 795. From someone with lower back pain, do you recommend judo over wrestling? Uh, what do you think about gymnastics training at the morning? in the morning, I imagine, for recovery and avoid injuries for judo or wrestling. And can you develop more upper body strength in judo than in freestyle wrestling? Thank you so much for your hard work. Thank you, I appreciate that. I do work hard, I do my best. Okay, so 
this question is actually a couple of questions. So let's start with the first one. Uh, do you, if you have lower back pain, do you recommend judo over wrestling? Um, I would recommend between those two things, judo, 100%. Because in wrestling, especially in freestyle, like you're hunched over all the time, it's horrible for your back. And you know, you're, you're doing, you're taking, you're going for single legs, double legs, you're hunched over, people sprawl on you, and you, your posture is always like this. Where in judo, you're nice and straight up. Because of the rule sets in judo, because we can't grab the legs, then you tend to stay up more. So I remember when I used to do BJJ, that messed my back up big time. That along with, you know, uh, doing improper squats and deadlifts. So that wasn't good at, at all. But then when I switched to judo, my back problems slowly went away. But then they're back because essentially, uh, you know, anything you do too much of, like you're gonna pay a price for uh, down the line. So that's my recommendation. But <laughs> with that said, okay, like if you're, uh, if you have back issues, you wanna address those back issues as best as you can. Like you'll never be 100% but you can definitely do things, exercises, stretches, and all that, and you know, uh, to strengthen and to keep that area nice and loose and strong so that you prevent injuries, okay? But with that said, judo would be <laughs> the better bet. But what I do, this is an extra tip for you. If you're gonna wrestle, do it like me. I do freestyle, but I don't go shoot for the legs and all that. Like, I'll, I'll shoot for my singles, but I'll shoot them with my, uh, I'll, just, I'll just stick in, I'll, I'll, I'll come in, with my head stuck to dude's chest and hips in, right? Like a Khabib style in MMA. And I'm not gonna go to the ground to go get that, uh, that single or I don't, I don't shoot for low like ankle picks or anything like that. I don't wanna be underneath. I stay up and uh, I'll use my, my judo to wrestle and then you know, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do some stuff. But basically I'm adapting it so that I don't have to like be hunched over all the time. I just don't like that. Uh, what do you think about gymnastics training in the morning for recovery and avoid injuries for judo or wrestling? Okay, gymnastics, guys, is a sport in itself. So you don't want to do another sport to get stronger for another sport. It, it, it doesn't make sense. I know it, it's very tempting to think that way, and I used to think that way before I, I knew any better. And I actually joined this thing called uh, Gymnastics uh, Bodies or whatever, and it was it was a pretty good program, but I mean... You know, there's a lot of uh, movement patterns that you have to do, like prep work and, and, and all sorts of stuff, and mobility work before you even get to, and, and it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I don't, um, I don't recommend it, you know? Like, if you want to um, have, avoid injury, well, you gotta get big, get strong, get flexible, get mobile. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's, that's required to, to, to optimize those things but that's what you need to do. Can you develop more upper body strength in judo than in freestyle wrestling? Hmm, if you were to, that's the only thing you do, judo or you do freestyle wrestling, upper body's gonna get stronger doing judo, in my opinion, because you're standing up and you're, 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 you're working the upper body like pretty much all of the time, where in wrestling, it's divided up. So you have the clinch work, you're, trying, you're fighting for underhooks, you're, you, know, you have your two-on-ones, you have your, um, uh, you're clinched up and everything, but then you're going for the legs as well. Right, so uh, like judo, definitely, um, I think that it would develop uh, more upper body strength than freestyle wrestling. That's just my take on it. Yo guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to help support this channel and this amazing community that you guys are all part of. I appreciate that. Later.